presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to make the interface of ProPresenter simpler for your operators. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One thing I keep hearing over and over again on the ProPresenter users group is, oh, we've got to have a lockdown mode that uh, users won't mess something up with. First off, I think that's the wrong way of thinking about it. Um, if we're not careful, this could devolve into, oh, this, the poor stupid volunteers. They're not able to do anything. So we've got to make it uh, just as simple as possible because they're just not very smart. I know that's not what you actually think, but to the ears of a volunteer, that's how it can sound sometimes. So, first off, let me uh, caution you that it's better to train people and empower them than to uh, put handcuffs on them and restrict what they can do. Too often, they'll be in a situation where they need to do something that you won't let them do, and the results can be catastrophic. It's the same kind of thinking as when you go to a store and they've got to call the manager to do the simplest thing when we should just trust them because they're adults. So, stepping off my soapbox here, and I really hope that that doesn't get me into too much trouble with you. Um, what if we could just make it a little simpler? Not that things are locked down, not that things are impossible to deal with, but simple enough that people can more easily run ProPresenter, but still have the ability to unhide certain things at certain moments. So let's ho head over to my computer and I'll show you what you mean. So here we are in ProPresenter, just a regular playlist up here. And there are actually a few things that are showing that don't need to show. So First off, if you're only using one playlist uh, per session, why do we need the library? We don't. So we could just click up here and hide that and hide all the list of player lists. And so now we only have just the playlist itself. That uh, makes things a little bit simpler. Another thing is if you've already got all the backgrounds and foregrounds and everything set, uh, any live video that's all set, why would you need to make it uh, visible down here? You don't. So up here we have this little media icon. Let's click that and that simples it down a little bit further. Also, let's say that um, you had a playlist. I'm uh, actually hiding. I'm on top of the playlist, so let me go away here real quick and let's change to a different playlist let's say that this was filled with stuff there's no way to hide this completely but if you have an empty playlist of audio like I have down here it goes away and so I'm gonna show back up here covering that up so just by doing those things I can make it a lot simpler so that people can just go from one item to another item and so on in the playlist and they can just go between slides and then they can preview what they need to preview over here. A lot simpler, but it's not actually locked down. So if they need to get to other things, they can always click on the media icon. They can always click on this and um, change to another playlist if they need to and they've got access to everything so I think that's a good compromise train your people how to do that but show them where things uh, are so that they can hide them or unhide them to make it just simpler because I will admit ProPresenter is very powerful and sometimes that power can come at the cost of being more confusing 
If you like this content, I bet you'd like my online church tech training community, Church Tech U. So why don't you head over to churchtechu.com and sign up for my ProPresenter 6 and ProPresenter 7 keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet. You can get that, download it, print it, put it on the wall in your tech booth, etc. And that way, you'll have uh, the ability for whoever does run ProPresenter to further master the power that's there. Also, when you do that, you'll uh, get an invitation to join my email newsletter, and I will send out uh, reminders every time I release one of these tutorials so that you can stay up on all the latest stuff from uh, me and Church Tech U. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.